Ron. Oh, it's hot today. Let's go for some hot set. <laughs> yeah, and some I, beans to go I along like with it. I like soup any day. <laughs> any day, Mary. I'm with you. So starting this off, you know, soups are very simple. They're, I think the simplest things in the world to make. I had leftovers I wanted to use in the soup that I didn't want to go spoil, so guess where the rest of my ham went? Right in there. Add it to the soup with some celery, onions, carrots. I'm stirring those all around in there with some garlic that's in there, and that's going to be the basis for our soup. And then we're going to add in our beans, and I'm doing a mixture of beans. These are uh, cannellini beans, and you can find them in the grocery store in the cans already, but cannellini beans are kind of like the white kidney beans of the world. So they're a little bit meatier than like a, a great northern or a white bean, and so that's why I like them. And notice, I don't rinse them, I don't drain them, because I want all the flavor that was in that bean can to go into there. Now also, these are butter beans that I'm going to add in there. I've canned my own butter beans, and I'm going to add them right into there as well. And these are very simple to use, and I like the flavor of the liquid. Now a lot of people go, oh, well, it's got salt and this and that. That's okay, because what you're going to do is re just simply reduce the amount of salt in the overall recipe and taste it. So that's the beauty of it. I like those flavors of the beans that have been cooked in there. To this also, I'm going to add some vegetable stock. And to do that, I'm using like an Italian herb blend of bouillon to add that into there. So I'll add that in along with some diced up, chopped up cabbage and tomatoes that are gonna go into there for our soup. Now the nice thing about this one at the very end of the soup, what you can do is actually add in kale or spinach, which I will be doing. But what I want to do real quick is come on over to the oven here. I've cooked up some fresh Rhodes rolls here. I think these are so good. You can do a rustic bread with it if you want to. These are the Texas style roll or size rolls that you can use and it'll be a great addition to it because who doesn't like to dunk into the soup uh, homemade bread or a crusty bread? It's just a great addition to it. So this is ready now to go ahead and add in some uh, water to it and then I'm going to add into it the chicken or the Italian herbs into there and if you've never tried that you guys it is so delicious you can just find it where the bouillon is sold it's the italian herb uh, better than bouillon one man i wish hey guys they should be a sponsor of this segment i certainly yeah. talk about them a lot right yeah <laughs> i tried it it's really good yeah right. it is yeah. really good you guys okay i'll keep working we'll finish okay. it up when i come back all right <laughs> maybe you should be, to enjoy some of the weather this they're afternoon they're all coming in for soup that might be yeah. it that's yeah. what it is <laughs> guys i wanted to show this little gadget so if you don't have one of these chopper things they are really nice in the kitchen I just picked it up at like oh Walmart or one of the box stores like that and you just put your food in there slam it down it chops it it's done it's easy I love it it's great so that's a great way to hide or protect your fingers too in case you're not really good with knives Great way to chop things up. Okay, the soup is ready to go. I mean, soup is the easiest thing in the world, everybody, and they are so delicious. This has everything in it, and I decided not to add the cabbage or the spinach right into this. I'm putting it in the bowl first, as you can see. Here we go. There we go. The bowl in that I'm adding the soup to because spinach will wilt so quickly that I thought, oh, why not just add it into the bowl and let it just wilt in there and it'll be fantastic. You could do kale. If you're going to do kale, kale needs to go into the pot and actually cook a little bit in there. So that's one thing, difference between kale and the spinach. Kale needs to cook a little bit. So once you get that all served up there, I'm going to serve it with the fresh rolls. You can dip it in there. And then I'm going to finish it off here by adding some shredded parmesan cheese. And yeah, you got to say it like that. It's just fun to say. And so let's add some of that onto there for some flavor. And this is just really a yummy way to enjoy dinner. And it's just a simple way to enjoy dinner. The thing I love about soups the most is the fact that you can really use up things that you had in the fridge that you were trying to use up and don't want them to go to waste or to spoil. And this is a great way. Remember that ham I was telling you about? It seems like all week long I've been trying to use up that ham. I finished it off in the soup with there. And that, of course, you could 
totally forego. You don't have to add the ham into there. It's just, if you have some, add it into it. It'll be delicious. These are the big Texas-style rolls of roads, and you can bake those off. They're a good addition to dip in that soup. The recipe's on KUTV.com or on my website, cookingwithchefbrian.com. And Ron Bird, because it's such a hot day out there, I'll go add a cup of ice to it. So it's a cold <laughs> yeah, soup. It smells so good. Yeah, yeah. Then it'd be gazpacho, right? Yeah, yeah we well, always have the cold <laughs> soup. You can. <laughs> no, I prefer I the hot. With colds going around, soup sounds good. Yeah.